Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. I'm a food scientist and chemical engineer, and in today's video, we're going to talk about five vital signs your hormones are improving. So let's get started. Now, over the last few years, you've heard me talk all about hormones, signs your hormones are in balance, symptoms of it, how to reset them, how to eat to reset and balance your hormones. Now today we're gonna talk about five vital signs that your hormones are actually improving. Now, your hormones impact everything from reproduction, libido, sleep, growth, metabolism as well as your mood. When they are thrown off, it can drastically impact your body, your overall wellness, and unfortunately, your waistline. Now, the number one sign that your hormones are improving is going to be that you have glowing, radiant skin. Now, skin issues like dark under eye circles, dryness, as well as acne are all signs of imbalanced hormones. And when your skin begins to become smoother, when you start to have more of a radiant glow to your complexion, that is an excellent sign that your hormones are improving. Sign number two is your sleep is improving. If you find that you're able to get restful sleep at night, you're waking up less in the middle of the night, and when you actually do wake up, you feel rested. Even if you slept a lot, you don't feel like you're still tired. When your sleep cycles start to improve, that's a sign that your circadian rhythms are improving. It's a sign that your cortisol management is improving. So improvements in your sleep patterns and sleep cycles and quality of sleep are all indicators of improvements in your hormone health. Now, number three is an increase in your energy levels. So when you are experiencing chronic fatigue where you are tired all day, every day, no matter how much you sleep, no matter how much coffee you drink, if you're just in this clouded state, if you have this brain fog that just never seems to go away, that is a sign that your hormones are off. But now, if you're just starting to feel more energized overall, you're thinking more clearly, you have your cognitive function back, you have energy for basic tasks, like you're able to run your errands, get all your tasks done, and even start getting your workouts in again, that is a sign that your hormones are improving as well. Number four, improved mood. Now, things will happen in life. You may have moments of stress. You may have moments where you're feeling sad, but if overall your anxiety is less, if overall your ability to tackle and handle life's challenges is improved. If your mood is just overall feeling more positive, more confident, and more capable in spite of challenges, that is definitely a sign that your hormones are improving. And last but not least is number five, a healthy metabolism. So when I say healthy metabolism, your metabolism impacts your rate of fat loss. And my clients with hormone imbalances do tend to lose at a slower rate. They tend to plateau very, very easily. So if your hormones are balanced, your metabolism is healthy and you have no problems losing weight, you will typically lose weight at a rate of half of an inch to a quarter of an inch off of the smallest part of your waist per week. I like to use inches to gauge an effective metabolism as opposed to pounds because pounds is not necessarily a true gauge of fat loss. These are all signs that you're seeing improvements, but what are signs that indicate that there is a problem with your hormones? If you are dealing with an extreme weight loss or weight gain, that's an issue, especially when it's uncontrollable, if that makes sense. It's just kind of happening on its own. If you are extremely fatigued, if you do have thinning hair, if your skin is getting dull and more acne prone, you're more prone to dark circles under the eyes, your face is becoming more rounded, that's a sign of excess cortisol levels, your cycles are irregular, you may be dealing with diarrhea or constipation or even a combination of both, which is actually awful. Infertility, a reduction in your libido, hair loss, again, depression and or anxiety, 
fat gain in the lower abdomen called hormonal belly, excessive bloating, painful periods, and just overall, like I said, extreme levels of fatigue. So if this is you and you do need to reset your hormones and you do want to see these improvements, I encourage you guys to check out my 21 day hormone reset protocol. It is a fabulous program designed to not only bring your hormones into balance to help accelerate fat loss under those circumstances. It also comes with a free gift for a limited time, which is a 12 week metabolic training protocol. So the link will be below any questions or concerns. Talk to you in the comments section, guys. Talk to you later.